Richard from the firm Data Force. So as you can see behind me, it's another different background. And this is a flash press release for you, the viewers. So what we're actually gonna do is just pan around just a little bit more. <laughs> and what you can now see behind me is actually the Houses of Parliament. We've been here, we've been invited by Frost and Sullivan to attend an event at the House of Lords. So Richard and Michael from Data Force, and you're probably wondering, hey guys, what happened to the Houses of Parliament? Well, I'm not David Copperfield, and unfortunately, due to some technical issues, we've actually lost the rest of the footage that we had at the Houses of Parliament. It's now the second day, but we wanted to recap some of the stuff that we've done. So the first day, Frost and Sullivan had an event at the House of Lords. We were fortunate enough to be invited, and we got to hear Lord Teverson uh, do the moderating, and we got to hear from uh, an MP from England, um, uh, and also some other speakers. We left that event um, at the House of Lords and we took a walk actually to the Carlton Jumeirah where they were holding their banquet. You'll catch some footage of us doing the walk because we saw some really, really nice cars along the way um, and you'll see a quick snapshot of that. But we went to the banquet dinner. It was a great, uh, enjoyable dinner. Frost and Sullivan presented a few awards and I believe, Mike, you, you, you had a couple of points. Of yeah, it was really a nice and enjoyable uh, evening. Uh, we had nice food nice drinks but also a very very interesting keynote speech there was a guy from the Himalaya a Sherpa who was also uh, at the Mount Everest twice I think and he was uh, talking a bit about mobility from from his perspective that was really interesting and absolutely inspiring speech yeah yeah, yeah I would agree I would agree we also had an opportunity to network a little bit so that was really good and we did that today the second day we went to the Intelligent Mobility uh, uh, event and it was also at the Carlton Jumeirah, so we were back there. It's great to see loads of people. We saw some disruptors there, we saw some innovators there, and there was a really, really good spread of speakers and, and presentations and, and also moderators as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Very interesting mix of people. We had around 400 participants coming from 25 countries across the globe. Very, very interesting speeches and uh, yeah I enjoyed that very much yeah I think for me it was really really good we saw the future of mobility um, uh, and Savant was moderating that one Savant Singh from from Frost and Sullivan mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed his introduction and, and some of the uh, details that he was presenting to us at that yeah, yeah it was a pretty pretty long day we're a bit a bit tired yeah, but little. nevertheless of course we wanted to do at least a quick update for you and as we are in the UK, um, we also have a few current figures, right? That's right, we do. We don't want to leave you without some of the current figures and also some of those exclusive figures for you, the viewers. So, the UK true fleet market was up by 0.2% for May. And there was a few positives to go along with this as well. We saw a rise in the SUV share, as to be expected, and also a little rise in the compact car share. We did see some negatives as well though. So the small car vehicle segment is actually down and year to date, it's down by around about 30%, which is not great. It's around about 18,000 registrations here in that UK true fleet market. Mike, you had some things from the, the fuel type. Yeah, right. I mean, as you can imagine, currently there are a lot of discussions about the diesel decline, not only in the UK, but also here in this market and also about the share of petrol, the development of the alternative fuel types. And in fact, we have a record share. We have a 7.6% okay. hybrid share in true fleets in May, which is a record and quite impressive. And by the way, when we left that House of Parliament's event, uh, after enjoying strawberries and tea and so on, but different story, we had a chance to have a quick look on a few cars which have been parked over there. So probably only a small amount, a small part of their fleet. There was a significant volume of, of hybrids. Yeah, there was. And, and, and again, it was we, we actually stood there and sort of like counted out of <laughs> all of the cars that were there. We can't help ourselves, you know, counting cars. And there was quite a few Toyota hybrids, obviously, and also some Lexus hybrids too. So that was really kind of interesting. <laughs> so that's it now. We're, we've finished the day. And obviously the last thing that we need to say is thanks to Frost and Sullivan for their event. Please continue to do it because it is definitely one of the coolest events yeah. of the year. <laughs> Thanks, Frost and Sullivan. Okay. Cheers. See Ciao. You.